Let's look at dividing multiples of 10. So this is the type of problem that we'll go ahead and face. 80 divided by 2 equals. And so our dividend, what we're dividing, that's what we're looking at. Our divisor is going to be a single digit divisor. So even 800 divided by, I don't know, let's say 5, is another type of problem that we would be facing. Now I can solve these for you right here, but I'm going to go ahead and show you how you can solve them, how you go about solving them. Let's take a look. Let's look at 80 divided by 2 to start with. Now what we're going to do is we're going to think as to what this 8 is worth. This 8 really is worth just 8 tens. So we're saying 8 tens divided into 2 parts. 8 tens divided into 2 parts is 4 tens, and the way we write 4 tens is 40. That's 4 tens. Now, if we look at the basic fact that helped us there, we started with that basic fact of 8 divided by 2. 8 divided by 2 equaling 4. Let's go forward from there, meaning if we looked at 8 hundreds and we divided it by 2, 8 hundreds divided by 2, again we'll start with that basic fact still of 8 divided by 2, which was 4. And since we're talking about 8 divided by 2 and 8 hundreds divided by 2, the way we write 4 hundreds is 4 with two zeros. Can you tell me what 8,000 divided by 2 would be then? Right, it would be 4 thousands. Do you recognize a pattern as we're working here? Hmm, recognize a pattern with those answers? One zero, two zeros. Hmm. Let's continue to take a look. Here we have a problem 250 divided by 5. The basic fact that will go ahead and help us is 25 divided by 5. So we'll go ahead and write that basic fact out. 25 divided by 5 is 5, right. And then so we're talking about 25 tens divided by 5. And so 25 divided by 5 is 5, so 25 tens divided by 5 is 5 tens, which is written 50. What would 2,500 divided by 5 be then? Right, 500. Where we want for our basic fact of 25 divided by 5 first, and since we were talking about 25 hundreds with those two zeros there, that's why we were able to place two zeros after our basic fact of 5 there. Let's take a look at a few problems before I let you go ahead and work on some on your own. Here we have 300 divided by 6. Now I might be tempted to go ahead and place two zeros in my answer. However, I'm going to show you that that really should not be the case. And so that might be a common mistake that some people might try to do. The way to think about this is that we really can't divide 3 by 6. That's not a basic fact that would have helped us. The basic fact that would have helped us is 30 divided by 6. And 30 divided by 6 is 5. So that's why we have 30 divided by 6. Really, we're talking about 30 tens divided into 6 parts, which would be 5 tens. And the way we write 5 tens is 50. Again, notice that there are two zeros here within our dividend but within our quotient, there's only one zero. It's because of that basic fact where it's 30 divided by 6 equals 5. Here's another problem that is similar. So we have 4,000 divided by 5. So again, we'll start with that basic fact. The basic fact of what? What do you see there? Hopefully you said 40 divided by 5. 40 divided by 5 is 8. And then so that was 40 hundreds. And that's why with the two zeros here, we can say this is 800. 4,000 divided by 5 is 800. All right, it's your turn. Please go ahead and write down these problems here and carefully solve them. Really think of that basic fact that you're going to go ahead and start with, and you might even want to write that down for yourself. Go ahead and hit pause. Solve them and then we'll come back and check your answers. 
All right, did you start with the basic fact? Did you start with 8 divided by 2 equaling 4? 8 tenths divided by 2 then is 4 tenths, or 40. 8 hundredths divided by 2 then is 400. 8,000 divided by 2 would be 4,000. Again, be careful because they're not only going to set it up this nicely for you where you're going to have the exact pattern where one zero, two zeros, three zeros. They might set it up where it is that they write 800 divided by 2, then they write 80,000 divided by 2. You have to be really careful. Follow those steps as to what it is that we were doing. Um, so for instance here, this would be 8 divided by 2 to begin with, and this was thousands. And then that's why we could place those three zeros. All right, it's your turn still. Please go ahead and copy down these problems here. Go ahead and hit pause and solve them. Um, be very careful about how many zeros that you place within your answer for each of these. All right, for that first one, the basic fact that helps us is 6 divided by 3, which is 2. Since we were talking about 6 hundreds, our answer is 200. 2,000 divided by 5 is the basic fact of 20 divided by 5, which was 4, that helps us. That's 20 hundreds, that's why we can place two zeros there. 2,000 divided by 5 is 400. 40,000 divided by 8, the basic fact that helps us is 40 divided by 8, which is 5. And since we're talking 40 um, thousands, our answer is 5,000. How'd you do? Hopefully you got at least two out of three correct. If you got three out of three correct, great. If you got less correct, really think about that basic fact. Think about what it is that we're looking at, and we'll continue to work on this. All right, two final problems. Let's go ahead and take a look at this is review at this point. We have 81,000 divided by 9. So the basic fact that helps us is 81 divided by 9. 81 divided by 9 is 9. And then we're going to be able to place three zeros here because of the fact that we are talking about 81 thousands divided by into those nine parts. And that's why we place those three zeros there. Now this was the type of problem that was a little trickier in that there were four zeros within this answer, right? This, what we're dividing right here, our dividend, but there's not going to be four zeros within our answer. What we'll start with still is that basic fact of 20 divided by 5, which is 4, and then we're able to place three zeros within our answer. So don't get confused there. 20,000 divided by 5 is 4,000. So really what helps us is those basic facts and then knowing what it is that we're dividing so to know how many zeros that we're able to place within our answers.